Writing about time didn't seem to take as much time. Maybe because I wasn't worried about the time and the things I wrote about seemed to catch all my attention. And I can't really see time or feel it. But writing about it made it too real to me because as I am writing this, time around me is continuing. And I can't stop it either. Maybe I do know what time feels like, but I just don't understand it. She was only granted to live a life with wings on her back, but she was never granted the chance to grow up and see the world with us. Ruby, my older sister, the girl I dream about, the person I wish I could have lived a life with, but her life ended as a baby. No kid years, no teen years, no adult years, no elderly days. She was only granted to live her life with wings on her back. El clima cambió a los siete años. The weather changed at seven years of age. We were all a happy family. We were all a we. Birds sang and winter was pulverizing. Night after night, the stars were visible. And then I realized there were no stars. My vision lied. They were just planes. And then I realized there were no birds. My hearing lied. It was just a timer. And then I realized there was never a we. I lied, hiding the truth. Winter started to gnaw at my surface, pulverizing my veins and my truths. It was then I realized winter had only begun. I wrote about time. I had no choice but to write about time. I had to mix a passion with the fear of mine. It probably wasn't the best thing. I don't know why I try to avoid the impossible, the unavoidable. I fear time. I overthink time. I then overthink about overthinking time. I can go on like time, but just like time, it doesn't end pretty. I hate how I remembered all the seconds of my life that go to waste every time I zone out. How time has no ending, but we do. How time paralyzes my mind. But I don't want time to stop, for it'll be my end. When you're a baby, you don't really know a lot, and you see people all around you. When you're a kid, you want to play around and have fun all the time, and you make friends. When you're a teenager, you want to separate away from everyone else but you also want and need friends. You also start to love for others. When you're an adult, you have to do almost everything for yourself. But when you have a family, you have to love for them a lot more. When you have kids that work and have their own kids, you don't have to work so much and you start spending more time alone and reflecting on your life. The call one single moment that changed me forever. And as I walked, the sun quietly tucked itself behind the clouds and the raindrops fell. Like all the memories we had, they came crashing to the ground beneath my feet. I splashed and kicked them away to make room for the realization that I wasn't his little girl anymore. That he had chosen to live hidden like the sun hides from the icy drops falling from above. Up the stairs, drops still fell, but now my eyes were those godforsaken clouds. But time passed and the clouds disintegrated and the drops stopped falling from my eyes and that gray sky. And I realized I don't want to be the sun, hiding away like a scared child. Life, as we carelessly stomp past days and nights long forgotten, we take our final breaths as the shadow of angel of death gently caresses your cheek and lulls you away into a quiet world where frivolity is not a luxury but a right, bestowed upon you by that notorious angel. 
but is notorious a word that should describe those silky feathered wings that carry our souls through time and space, which we previously took for granted? Now, as you look back to those lost moments where you rushed to your end, think of the endless days ahead and smile, because all you have and all you need is time. Her weather was cloudy. The rain was a pain inside her. Her thoughts were the dark sky. One day, that all changed. The clouds were the cleanness of her soul. The weather around her was gold. Gold, outlining the boldness of the clock. All the clock is a mixture of the past and present. It has no time. It is not working but its presence is still there, tall and strong. It greets everyone with the same eyes, posture, expression, and dignity. It doesn't know who we are, and we don't know who it is, but it knows what we have, and vice versa. We have life, and the clock has time. The sudden disbelief of him leaving creates the boy to feel alone. At a point, he was the only person he could talk to, his brother. The two hearts, the little boy saw their fates being together. Only until that day had come, the day he left. Now the little boy only drowns in his thoughts. The two hearts, the two paths, separated. He only wishes that they would connect again. Because the little boy doesn't miss being young, he misses not being alone. Time truly flies by. As I sit here writing, time has already passed. Quite annoying it is, trying to capture a moment in a page full of words. But the moments you remember just consist of more moments. And while you think about those moments, more time is passing by. More moments that will either be remembered deeply in your heart or forgotten. Those who wonder what time is are aware of the dangers of time. They might not know it, but they are. They know what time can bring. Suffering a loss, longing to go back, only caring about what already happened and not what can happen. What will happen? But what will happen? That's, that's what goes through our heads when we try to make decisions. Decisions to let go and move forward, to look back and reminisce. Boko Dupuy. It'll rain today, so take an umbrella. It only protects us from molecules that have built up enough to explode. But what about everything else we need to be protected from? Everything else that requires protection. We don't take umbrellas when we feel sad, but there are still built up molecules that are ready to explode in our eyes. So what will protect us from that? There are other things we need to be protected from than rain. Out on the bright green turf, I stand, ready to fight and win this match. Time is going without us knowing. It escapes our thoughts. I play my hardest. I sweat more than I ever did. And the match is over. The goals they scored, the goals we scored, we lost track. Time went so fast throughout those 90 minutes. Now we wait, wait for the news of the score. We won 7-6. It was a close match. We celebrate, we cheer. It was 10 p.m. School tomorrow, really early. We were at the field for hours, but it felt like minutes, seconds even. I'll never forget that day, the day that I realized no matter the event, time is running.